Another player continually tried to kill my character. Her character would backstab my character in the middle of combat. She would cast spells attacking my character while I'm in the middle of fighting something else. I, my character nearly died several times. And so I decided to get some revenge and things didn't go exactly as planned. We were playing uh, third edition and the dynamics of the group were a little unusual. There was the dungeon master and uh, his wife and then there was this other couple and there was me. So it was uh, we had four players and um, the dungeon master, and we were running, shall we say, a fairly high level, um, somewhat Monty Hallish game. To give you an idea, my fighter, I tend to play sort of a tank type fighter. I had plus five armor and plus five sword and various things. So I had um, somehow I had managed to irritate the the one of couples wife the wife of one of the and one of the couples and she had um, I think it was a druid or I'm not sure exactly what it was a magic user of some something that cast spells because that what she that's what she kept attacking me with and I had um, strive to to be gentlemanly like and I. I never remember ever attacking her first until, anyway, we'll get into that in a minute. And um, so I had went through a variety of things. I kept trying to find rings of protection, various things to increase my uh, magic resistance. I'd managed to get my, through working with a DM, I'd got uh, various equipment and various things, and I was up to about... 25% of spells didn't affect my character to give you an idea how high level we were I, we were playing and um, yeah it really got kind of bizarre I mean we met Vecna okay that's a that was kind of strange too but the anyway the <laughs> we're we're going through and so I finally just have had it I've had it I can't handle it anymore this character has stabbed me in the back so many times and it, it, it's only that the one the dungeon master's wife played a cleric and she kept um, healing me that i survived and my fighter was just being hit every so often so i finally had had enough with it and i decided okay enough is enough I'm going to get back at her. And being the devious kind of person I am, I decided, well, how would a fighter actually do this? I'm a professional uh, fighter. And I go, so I start talking to, to the dungeon master and we work out that um, over a period of time, this is a long-term plan. I build out a company of men. I have... I think it's 120 men. I have a captain, I have lieutenants, I have a full um, organization of troops and, and under my command. Now, mind you, most of the troops are like first level. They're not gonna ch stand a chance against us. We're playing at, you know, a 30th level <laughs> Periods. And it's, and they go, oh well, all right, fine. And and the other part player characters are thinking, yeah, I'm just being a little weird. So, I, but I have this plan, and I go, we're going to go off. We we found this portal. We're going to go through. There's this building, and in the building there's a portal, and there's a main exit out of the building. And I said, so we're planning off. And I so I go off and I draw up plans. And I remember because I is one of the first things I drew up with campaign cartographer. I actually got that and um, I can't remember if it was two or three, but I drew up the plan in the various stages because I didn't know how long we would be gone of what we, what my 
what my troops would be busy doing. And I left them with a nice hefty sum of, of gold and jewels. And I, there was a town not too far away. And I go, okay, this is what you're going to build while we're gone. So we head off into, in, into the building and off into the adventure. And sure enough, the, I nearly die, she attacks me. Meanwhile, my troops are back building earthworks. What they do is they build um, uh, pits and put them with punji sticks down at the bottom. They're 60 foot pits with punji sticks. It's all over and it's, it's uh, all camouflaged just outside the, the area. And they build six ballista and a catapult. And I tell them, there's a set of double doors here. We're going to come through these double doors. And, and uh, I want you to be prepared and I want all the ballista targeted and aimed and verify that they will hit right in the center of these doors. Okay, so they're off. We're off, we're fighting, we go through various adventures and we come back and the party is thinking and I said, I'm going to run ahead and check to see where what I was doing with my troops. And they go, okay, sure. So my character runs off ahead. And uh, <laughs> there I, I exit the, the thing and I go, basically it's prepare for battle. And the, and the, 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 the cry, and, the, and I says, and then the next cry is, um, the next thing that comes through that door, when that door opens again, open fire with everything. And the troops have earthen um, covered um, manholes. They're covered and they've got crossbow ball that you've got hundred guys with crossbow bolts. Plus you've got the ballista and you've got a catapult. And I immediately jump into one of the 60 foot pits with spikes. Well, like I said, I'm wearing plus five armor. Okay, I take some damage. I fall 60 feet and take some damage, but I'm alive. Yeah, okay. So we wait and we wait and they open the door. And uh, the troops open fire. The first ballista bolt hits the druid and the look on her face. What? And mind you, I played original Dungeons and Dragons and there's actually a saving throw, death versus ballista in there, but it didn't come through in from od and into first edition or whatever. So the, the DM has to scratch his head and he goes, okay, this is how much damage it does. And the first bolt sends the character to negative numbers. She's below zero. And then the second bolt and the third bolt and the fourth bolt and the fifth bolt and the sixth bolt. And she's now at like minus six or 700 points. But the DM argued that the whole, the whole party was getting decimated. The rest of the party is getting splinters and just anyway. So it, it's going on and then we fire the catapult and the catapult is filled with flaming oil, Greek fire. Well, this was a bad, this was a problem. This landed and the DM rolled and it says rolled an awful roll and the catapult landed short. Not too short, just a little short and off to the right. Right on top of me, my character, <laughs> down the hole with 60 feet of, um, yes. Uh, now my fighter could probably have survived. It was only 30 hit dice worth of damage, but he rolled high and after falling 60 feet onto the punji stakes, I went negative. Um, not too much, but just, a, just enough to be dead. So I did a total party kill. I killed the 
party. <laughs> and, you know, it was not intentional. I had intended to survive. But I had had it. She had tried to kill me so many times. And I really don't, to this day, I don't remember why I had upset her so much. So I have no problem with total party kills. And it just goes to prove that um, uh, if you have a, a group of, a, a, a group of first, second, third, I think I had the commander was at seventh level. They can take on, if, if you know where the party is going to be, where they're going to come through, you can build a truly devastating reception for them um, with ballista and catapults. And it can just, you know, and, and I told it, it, it my men had, had were, were planned that, you know, you open fire, you fire a couple, you fire around a crossbow bolts, maybe wait and see if there's any survivors. If there's any survivors, run like hell. Sorry, but that's true because if they they could you couldn't take these characters on in a in a pitch battle because they were just too high level. But run! But they actually decimated the party. <laughs> if you like my video, press the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that. Or if uh, this interests you, you can always subscribe to my channel. There's a button right above. Uh, I look forward to hearing some comments. Tell me what you think about this and I'll uh, uh, try and reply and uh, we can see if I'll do some more of these. Thank you.